Hey everybody, Real Pastors are back and we have some reviews for you that are actually long overdue. And and, uh, these reviews, because of holidays and all this kind of stuff, we weren't able to jump on and do it. Uh, Sir Gary was moving over Christmas and so interwebs and all that was hard. So we didn't get a chance to review these movies coming up, but we are back. We're going to review them now and uh, you can see what we have to say about them. And... Uh, Gary is uh, once again on his phone. His computer has died. That's why the different angle. My computer is flatlined. It is dead. <laughs> yes, it is dead. My cell phone device, which yeah. I will say, I look pretty handsome on my phone. I'm not going to play. It's not yeah. fuzzy like on my laptop. Yeah, exactly. Your your quality is way better, and now probably people can tell. Sorry, my chair's being weird, but people can tell that. Uh, Oh, Efren's on his webcam too, and it looks terrible. Um, we'll, we'll both have to remedy this some, sometime soon, sir. We'll figure but it out. We'll figure it out. GoFundMe.com, real pastors for our, for our, uh, <laughs> for our uh, tech stuff. Yeah. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. So what we're reviewing first, we got two for you. So, guys. Yeah, we got two for you. And the first up here is Sing 2. And because yeah. uh, I'm pretty positive this one came out first um, than the other one. I think, but either way, so we're talking Sing 2, and um, when this came out, of course, kids saw it, the kids are like, we have to see it, we love the first one so much, we have to go see this now, and uh, so like it or not, when you have kids, you're watching movies like Sing 2, um, but the thing that was good for me was the first one, like going into this, the first one I thought was pretty good, um, it didn't blow my socks off, but I'm like, that was fun, and so when this one came out, I'm like, oh, it looks like more fun on a grander scale, so sure, we'll go watch it. And, um, so we went, took the kids, uh, we went on Christmas day, took the kids, grandma with us, was with us as well. Uh, got to make it a family fair and go watch this. And, uh, we had a lot of fun with it and probably like we should have, like the first one had a lot of fun with it. It was, uh, quite enjoyable. It was very much a good family flick as, uh, people like to say a good family flick, good one to go to. And I had a lot of fun. What are your initial thoughts, Gary? Yeah, same here. We went and saw it Christmas Eve. The kids were begging to see this movie because they they love the first one and, and like it was i mean basically I, I mean everything you just said i mean i uh was hoping um because I, I thought that the trailer for this was really good i do have one complaint but i want to mm-hmm. talk about that in a minute but yeah, yeah. Um, this movie was an absolute blast it, it handled the music really well uh it was funny and it was a new spin on uh on this story um and uh i thought it was handled really well my my only really big complaint was if you've seen the trailer for this movie you've seen the movie pretty much yeah um there's a few things humor wise that you don't see in the uh trailer but pretty much everything else you yeah. know, it's, it's in the trailer which hollywood you gotta stop doing that yeah yeah agreed it's one of those that like um all the all the important plot points of the movie are in this trailer, right? Like there's mm-hmm. certain stuff that wasn't in this trailer that, that like was important to the plot, but it was like little important. Like, mm-hmm. like, like it was like, okay, just the things that you would need to move the plot along. And that's really about it. And, um, but as far as all the important stuff, especially that second trailer, the second trailer mm-hmm. shows you everything. Oh, yeah. And, and I think this would have been a lot more enjoyable for adults if they didn't do that. Yeah. Um, so I'm right mm-hmm. there with you. That's my, that's a, that's a big complaint. The best thing about these Sing movies is how they handle music, and um, they handle music in this movie really well, mm-hmm. um, delivered really well. And um, you know, I'm trying to find out if that was really Scarlett Johansson singing U2 at the end, because if so, she she can sing as well as act. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, and that's the thing is like seeing this. Probably one big surprise for me, I had no idea Matthew McConaughey played uh, the little koala, oh, yeah. Yeah. and I was just like, wow, I never would have known. So I'm just like. Did he actually do that voice for that koala mm-hmm. or like did they doctor it somehow afterwards? Because I could not tell at all that was him. And I'm like, good yeah. good on you, man. If you did that voice and you did that good on you, that well, was awesome. He's got range. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, yeah. And uh, and I loved it. And, and this is one that like it's one of those stories for me that it, it was just fun, but it was pretty heartfelt. It was like, you know, like if you go after your dreams. And I love what the uh, what, what they called Nana. Um, mm-hmm. but, uh, you know, but her, and she, but she's just like, oh yeah, th- what do you think life's going to give you? you? think life's just going to come that you bow down and say how great you are. Like mm-hmm. you got thrown in a canal, big whoop. Like, mm-hmm. so what are you, are you, are you going to go after and chase it or are you not good enough? You mm-hmm. know? And I'm like, that's actually a pretty darn good life lesson. Yeah. Like, 
you can't expect the world to just hand you everything you want. If you want it, you got to work for it and you got to go after it. So like as a dad, me as a person, but even as a dad, I'm like, I'm glad my kids are paying attention to this. Yeah, I'll pay attention to that. Yeah, I know. So like, so I, so I like that. And then of course the ride was fun and the hijinks and stuff as normal cartoons would be. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but I like that overall story of if you want something, you got to go after it. You got to work hard for it. You can't just expect everything to be handed to you. And I really appreciated that. Yeah. Sing 2 is a lot of fun. Check it out. You know, Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, check it out. yeah and uh yeah i mean as far as like anything bad it honestly just be like normal nitpick stuff of kid yeah. movies so like to me nothing worth really speaking about honestly no. um it's a kids kids movie yeah. Yeah. yeah if you're watching this you you probably have your kids or a yeah. niece nephew cousin like you're probably going with a kid or if you're going without kids it's probably because you're going because you just want to hear the songs and you enjoy music yeah. you're a big sean mendes fan like i am yeah there you go there you go and that's the thing just like well if that's what you're going for you like this movie i don't know what else to tell you. so um so what do you think sir let's go ahead and just jump into to our ratings here yeah and um uh, because this one's straightforward but go ahead yeah i mean i give it my solid uh hats off review of a four out of five you know all right that's uh yeah. you know as a kid's movie as uh, i handled itself really really well i enjoyed it yeah yeah, and, and that's the thing is like when you're rating it as a kids movie, um, I think this as well is a is a is a four out of five. Thought it, thought it was a lot of fun, um, you know, because threes would be like it was okay, but I thought this was better than the first one. I did too, honestly. And so that that for me, like they progressed. I liked it. It was fun uh, as as a family pick. Four out of five. Um, have a lot of fun with this movie. It was great. And uh, and I'm going to tell you something, Gary. And I'm going to say something that might shock everybody here. I'm really starting to enjoy DreamWorks and Illumination. Like this whole brand of uh, family movies a lot better than I am Pixar. And what Disney's putting out. Like I'm not, I'm sorry. Like I know that may make some people mad. But these movies are just giving us fun. And that's yep. what I want. You know, I don't want existential crisis like what Pixar's pushing. <laughs> you know, like I'm over it. And like I, I want to go with my kids and have fun at the theater. Well, they're and, staying in a lane. This is a simple story about singing animals that, yeah. and, you know, they're not trying to tell some grand, you know, a, a, agenda, if you will. I don't want to get on a soapbox, but <laughs> yeah. I, I respect that, that I can go take my kids to this movie and it be safe and, and not have to worry about, you know, oh man, I hope they don't pick up on that message or, you know, so yeah. That's off to you, uh, is it DreamWorks, right? Illumination? Yeah, Illumination. I think it used to be DreamWorks. I don't I don't know how all that works. I don't know if they're the same company, but I, I just know this, you know, so, this from these people. All right. Like, well, they made the, uh, so they've made the Des- Despicable Me. Right. The minions, right? The, the Minions. Yeah. And, uh, and the Sing movies. Okay. So. Yeah, and the Sing movies. Uh, now, Dream, see, that's the thing. I don't know if DreamWorks is part of them or not. Because I get confused because when you go to Universal Studios, you have like Shrek and Kung Fu Panda and all this yeah, stuff. That's right, yeah. So to me, it's all under the umbrella of Universal. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Universal has given us the Kung Fu Panda trilogy. They've yeah. given us the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. They've mm-hmm. given us Sing One, Sing Two. You know, um, they've given us the Despicable Me movies, which are all just fun movies, you know? Yeah. Like, probably the worst of them all is the Minion movie. But other than that, everything else has just been fun. Yeah. And you're not missing much. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, but they've been fun, and I and that's what I want. I want to go have fun at the movies, and that's why I like this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So from fun to inspirational. Yep. We go on to our next movie, American yeah. Underdog: The Kurt Warner Story. Yes. I was excited to see this because Kurt Warner was I mean, my dad's a huge Rams fan, mm-hmm. and I was you know. In fifth grade, when the greatest show on turf, uh, led by Kurt Warner, the St. Louis Rams, uh, won the Super Bowl. That is the first Super Bowl I actually sat and watched all the way through. Fun fact. Nice. When they beat the Titans. So I always thought, you know, the Kurt, the Kurt Warner story would make a good movie. And you know what? We was right. It was a good movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was very good. I saw when you told me about this, right? Did you tell me or did I just find out? I can't remember. I think you told I, me about it. I may have because I remember – when I saw it, I sent I texted two people, my dad and, and you. Right. So, okay. Yeah. So you yeah. told me about it, and I was like, dude, I like this is fun. Like I, because I love. I we were just talking the other day, or maybe it was a month. I don't remember. But we were talking about how like where are all the good sports movies have gone. Yeah. And we were like, where have they gone? And then this came up. I'm like, oh, thanks. This is awesome. And with Zachary Levy, because mm-hmm. I mean, I've only seen him in Shazam. And I loved him in Shazam. Mm-hmm. So I was like, sweet. I'm like, and he actually looks like Court Warner a little bit. He does. So it works. And so I was like, great, I'm there, I'm there to watch it. And uh, I went one night when the wife said, get out of the house. 
and get away from these kids. Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> and I did. I'd enjoyed myself. This was a, a late movie. It didn't start till like 10 p.m. And I stayed up for the whole thing because it was good. It kept my interest. Um, I thought it did a good job of telling um, Kurt Warner's story, like from beginning to end and his ups and his downs. And I'm glad they did not shy away from how hard it was for him. Yeah. And like his struggles, like with, you know, what, what what ended up becoming his wife, like his struggles in that relationship, his struggles with himself, trying to figure out purpose and trying to figure out, is he just football? Like, like it, this movie wasn't just a sports movie or just him. I mean, like some other ones, hey, they did great and they won the championship. Like it wasn't just about football. It was about him as the person, which mm-hmm. I appreciated a lot. And I'm glad they took that angle in the storytelling and football was just a part of it. And I just, I love the way they told the story and I thought it was great. Yeah, and there was a lot about I didn't know, like the stuff with his stepson. I had mm-hmm. no idea the part where the you know, no spoilers, but they get broken down in the middle of the snow, and he's got to you know, they run out of gas, and yeah, he runs to you know, and um, and it it told, it didn't shy away from stuff, and it was paced really really well as a movie. It wasn't like mm-hmm. you know, football was kind of the background of it, you know, yeah. and. And I loved how it told the story, you know, it, and things didn't come easy to him as mm-hmm. far as like, I like how it explained how when he went to the arena football league, like, yeah, it's not something he was excited about. He thought that he, that was beneath him mm-hmm. and, and rightfully so, I mean, with his t- talent skill, but it also talked about how it wasn't easy to get used to at first because it was a different game, you know, yeah. and I thought those scenes were shot really well. The football mm-hmm. stuff was handled really it was just it was a really good movie i also went and saw it at the theater uh late by myself one night and uh to my surprise sold out theater nice completely sold out and um i had to sit beside a stranger you know yeah uh so uh this was um and, and zachary levi just nailed it as kurt warner um you know and uh, anna anna paquin as his wife did great mm-hmm. it, this it was just like i said good movie yeah Anna Paquin, if you don't know that name off the bat, think Rogue from X-Men. Yeah. Right. That's who that is. Um, and I realize you said Zachary Levi. I'm sorry. I read his last name in Spanish when I said Levy. My <laughs> mistake, everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, you said that. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is Levi. What am I doing? Um, anyways. Wait, is it? I don't know. I'm I may have said it wrong. I don't know. I can't. Remember. I have no idea. But I just, I just, I do that a lot with with English words. I automatically just read them and I will put like Spanish into it of how you would should be said. I so either way, people look at me and they're like, "You can't speak Spanish and you can't speak yeah. English. What do you speak?" I'm like, "I have no idea." Um, but anyway, hey, you got to do. But I think yeah. you know this a movie like this, and this is what I thought leaving the theater mm-hmm. could very easily be cheesy. Mm-hmm and just cliche but it wasn't and yeah that's my biggest compliment to the movie it told a great inspirational story without being cheesy preachy or cliche so yeah that's that's yeah. the best complaint I, best compliment i can give this movie right yeah because honestly um with you bringing that up it's so true because when the credits rolled i had no idea this was out of the christian movie yeah realm of people whatever mm-hmm. studios there we go i didn't re- like i had no idea was it pure, I, Flix? pure Flix did this i think so yeah okay. and like i had no idea until i saw like the uh the brothers directed yeah, it do. yes mm-hmm. and i was just like oh my goodness and see and that's good because if people watch this channel you know how uh-huh. we feel we know how we feel about christian movies mm-hmm. um but I got into now. This is one that's rare. I got into this movie because of the actor, because of Zachary, mm-hmm. and so and plus that story. Like I like Kurt Warner. Um, so like, and then the fact that I had no idea because even though they had like the faith stuff woven in there, like Kurt Warner's faith, his wife's faith, all that kind of stuff, it was woven in there. It wasn't like you said. It wasn't preachy about it. Yeah. So I didn't notice. I literally just thought it was like, oh okay. I, like I was like, oh they're not shying away from his faith. That's cool. Because yeah. I just thought this was just a normal movie that was made. Um, that just had some bad posters, um, but this is this is the best poster, people. Wait, yeah. one way. This is the best one that I liked. The other ones are pretty rough. Yeah. But um, but anyway, so I, so kudos to them because this this is on the same par as Woodlawn, which I don't know if you ever watched that, Gary. Still that I was like, I still haven't seen that movie. Yeah, but that's where I'm like, wow, like that impressed me even more that they did such a good job because I liked it anyways, and then I saw that and I'm like, good on them. That's how you should do. Christian movies, if you will, is like this. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Well, so all right, man. So yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, 
I know we got to get into our ratings now here, good sir. Uh, Kurt yeah. Warner story starring Zachary Levi, Levy, whatever, Anna Paquin, um, telling the story of Kurt Warner, American underdog, aptly named. What do you think, sir? What is your rating here? I'm going to give him a hats off rating of four out of five. All right. Gary's rolling with the fours today. Rolling with four. I'm all for it today. So. Yep, he's all for it. Um, he, he does that well. And then, uh, yeah, see, for me, I go back and forth. Um, honestly, I think I stay at the four as well. Um, it's just hard. You know me. It's hard for me mm-hmm. to hand out fives. <laughs> so uh, fives really got to blow me away. This blew me away in different ways, but not like a, this is a masterpiece that's that I have yeah. to watch consistently. But it, but, but it was very, it was good. It was very well done. Um, I thought they did telling his story well. Like it wasn't mm-hmm. biased in any way. They just like here it is, and I appreciate that. You know how I am. Just show me the facts, and yep. they, and I felt they did that for the most part, and I liked yep. it. And so, yeah, four out of five. Uh, definitely recommend that you watch. Um, wasn't heavy handed on anything in any way. It would literally was here's Kurt Warner's story. Here's his journey on screen. Mm-hmm. And they did a really good job with it. Yeah, check it out. It'll be on the shelf. It's definitely shelf worthy. And oh yeah, uh, you know I am very um, happy with how this movie turned out. And yeah, Dad, go see it. Get go see it. Go to the movies. Take your take your girlfriend Tracy and go see this movie, Dad. You can go to the movies. You know, <laughs> you know so yeah, especially you being a Kurt Warner fan and St. Yeah. Louis Rams fan. Mm-hmm. Go watch this movie. Oh, he cried when they won the Super Bowl. I remember. I remember. It's one of the first yeah. times I've seen, seen him cry. He, he cried. I was like, oh, yeah. that's kind of weird. Oh, he's excited. That, <laughs> yeah. Well, might be me. The Falcons ever win it. Maybe we're another 30 years off before they're back. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. before we get sidetracked, that's what we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. There are reviews. <laughs> Thanks for there watching. There are our thoughts. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and then uh, just uh, continue to share with your friends. Turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any more content that your real pastors keep giving to you. We are approaching 200, so subscribe. Yes, we are excited about that. And then, of course, next milestone will be 300. And uh, we love for you guys to just continue to grow with us as uh, you come on this journey with us of just being normal dudes who love movies, also pastors, and we just get to talk about it. A lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. So we will catch you guys next time. We'll see you.